This is what the Lord told us to do, saying, I have made you a light for the nations. You will show people all over the world the way to be saved. When you partner with TCT, you are boldly shining the message of Jesus Christ into all nations. Because of you, lives are being changed and souls are being saved through our prayer ministry. When you give, you help TCT extend God's love around the world through hands-on ministry outreaches. Because of your support, we continue to expand our reach through stations, cable, satellite, internet, social media, Roku, and new projects. Together, we are helping to spread the light of God's Word to all nations 24 hours a day. Together, we are impacting the world for Jesus Christ. It's time for celebration. Join us for Partnership 2014. I want you to go with me to uh, um, Psalms uh, 51. Psalms 51 on tonight. And uh, we're just so happy to be here tonight and we thank the Lord for the president of this great uh, institution, this electronic church that ministers the gospel around the world. Would you put your hands together for the president tonight? In Psalms chapter number 51, it opens up and it says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness and according to the multitudes of your tender mercies. His first request is, blot out my transgressions. The second one is, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquities and cleanse me from my secret sins. For I acknowledge your trans my transgressions and my sins are ever before me. And verse number four is a little complexing for me. It says, against you and only you have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak and clear when you judge. That part of the text bothers me so bad, I think I need to read it again. It says, against you and you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you, God, might be justified when you speak, and that you, God, might be clear when you judge as if God doesn't have the right to deal with the situation. Verse number five says, Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts you make me to know wisdom. Well, God, purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Verse number eight is where I want to take our message from tonight. He says, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. And hide not thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore the joy of my salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. Verse number 13, then will I teach transgressors your ways and sinners I shall convert unto thee. 